So Trust One was a phase two trial conducted in China, um, evaluating a next generation ROS1 inhibitor talitrectinib in patients with metastatic ROS1 fusion positive lung cancer. Um, so currently there are two uh, first generation ROS1 inhibitors that are approved by the FDA, crisotinib and entrectinib. With those, we have a median PFS in the range of 16 to 19 months. And then we have one next generation ROS1 and TREC inhibitor that was recently FDA approved just this past year called Reputrectinib. And with Reputrectinib, we've seen that uh, median PFS is around 35 months or so approximately. Now, Talitrectinib is another next generation ROS1 inhibitor. And at this ASCO meeting, uh, we saw the results presented for both TKI naive and crizotinib pretreated patients with ROS1 fusion positive lung cancer. In the TKI naive patients, the objective response rate uh, with talitrectinib was 90.6%. Median PFS was not reached after approximate two year follow up. And then in the crizotinib pretreated patients, the response rate was 51.5%, uh, with a median PFS of 7.6 months. Given that we only have reputrectinib as the only FDA approved agent for patients that have received prior ROS1 inhibitor, this is a field where we still need other effective therapy options. I also um, uh, highlight that this is an agent that has shown CNS activity. So in the TRUST1 trial, in the majority of patients who have baseline brain metastasis, uh, there were intracranial responses that were observed. One uh, um, uh, fact on the safety that really caught my eye was that um, with talitrectinib, there wasn't as much of a neurologic toxicity that was seen with some of the other available ROS1 inhibitors. So, for example, entrectinib and reputrectinib inhibit not just ROS1, but also TRAC proteins. And because of that, we can see neurologic side effects that are um, arising from the TRAC inhibition effect of the drugs. Um, with talitrectinib, there was dizziness noted, but most of the treatment-related adverse events had to do with the uh, AST, ALT increase, and gastrointestinal side effects, and so there may be a distinction there in terms of the tolerability profile.